So that's the next job that I talked a little bit about earlier. Um, some 14 inch wheels, they came like this. I'm not fixing anybody's mistakes, um, except the factories, but you can see the coating is already coming off right here. I'm not sure if it's just painted or, or what, if it's, I, I'm assuming it's painted. Um, I rinsed them off a little bit. That way they had a little bit of dirt on them so it wouldn't get in my strip tank. Um, got two bumpers, four springs, and then some bumper pieces that came off the front bumper. Uh, and then I got a couple bolts he wants the heads powder coated on. So we're gonna get started on this, uh, get them in the strip tank, and then get the wheels out gas and get everything blasted. And then we'll start coating on them. So I don't know an exact time, but I, you know, I'm gonna say that these wheels have been in there less than five minutes. And you can already see the aluminum underneath. Um, now we're gonna let them sit a little bit longer because areas where the paint is built up and like corners and stuff where it gets thicker for these kind of things, um, it takes a little bit longer for it to come off. So we're gonna let it sit in there for probably another five, 10 minutes and then we'll pull them out and then we'll put them in this tank right here. All right, so we're gonna take them out and we're gonna get them in the neutralizing tank and see what happens. Uh, this still has some coating on it. Um, we're kind of banking on it, just rinsing off with the water hose. So we'll see what happens if we're able to get most of that off. If not, we'll stick it back in the tank and let it sit a little bit longer. And you can see it's not bubbling up. Um, I probably need to put some more baking powder, in, uh, baking soda in there. Um, but it'll still help a little bit. And then we'll get them out and we'll rinse it off and everything will be good to go. So you can see this one didn't come entirely clean. Um, we got a lot of it rinsed off, but after I get the wheels out that are in there now, we'll give this one another dip and it should take care of the rest of the stuff that's on there. So same thing with this one, uh, there's a little bit left on. What also helps a lot is if you use a pressure washer but uh, I have a hole in my hose from burning it on the exhaust. So that's not an option for me today. So I'll just dip it back in there and it'll take care of all that stuff too. So this is after uh, the rim strip. You can see that it kind of puts a little surface rust on steel, which isn't a big deal because I'm gonna blast it anyways and that stuff comes right off. It's no issue at all. Uh, you know, it, it gets most of it. You know, in the corners you'll find a little bit left. Um, Usually when you pressure wash it, that takes care of most of that stuff. Uh, like I said, my pressure washer's down. So the wheels came almost entirely clean, just the stuff like in the little corners, but I'm just gonna blast that. It's not gonna be a big deal. Um, but that's why I say rim strip's worth the money because you know, just on a, a small blasting setup, this stuff would take forever, many hours to do. So, you know, this stuff's ready for blasting.
So here's everything coated. Uh, turned out really amazing. Um, the wheels turned out nice. I shot these cold. Um, I shot the bumpers hot because they had some tight areas in them. Uh, kind of like these in here. Um, like that one right there. That's a tight corner. Everything's coated nice and even. Um, and then this bumper too had a lot of little areas that would have been kind of fair to areas just all up in here. Um, you know, sometimes these can be a challenge, but and then we'll show you the backside. This is what I was really worried about was down in here. And you can see it coated that pretty well. So pretty happy with how these turned out. Uh, there's the springs. You can see those. This is bubblegum pink. Um, and for some reason, if you get a customer that wants this color, it's like almost $30 a pound. I don't know why. Um, I actually charged a little bit extra for the powder I bought. Um, I'm not sure how y'all do that, but you know, let me know in the comments what y'all do for your, you know, powder on the customer. Is that something y'all just eat or do y'all charge a little extra over a certain amount? So, but she's happy. I'm happy. All turned out good.